<laughs> wow. <laughs> this is really amazing. To be sincere, this is so good. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and if it's your first time here, you are so so welcome. Guess what guys, we are making chocolate today from the chocolate pot and it will amaze you how simple the process is. Um, first, I went ahead and cracked open the chocolate pot and uh, I fermented it for a week. So we are going to continue the process today. I'm going to go ahead and toast them and peel off the chocolate beans and do the grinding and all the good good stuff. So if you want to know how you can make chocolate from the comfort of your home, you have to keep watching. So right here, I'm preparing my charcoal pot. You know, I'm going to be toasting my beans right here on the charcoal, but um, you can use an oven or gas, you know, to toast the beans, it depends on you. But for me, I prefer it this way because um, this one gives it like a very good flavor. That's why I went for the charcoal, but it all depends. You can use your gas or your oven, yeah. So after doing this, I'm just going to go ahead and wash my things. So after fermenting our beans for a week, this is what it looks like. It has a, um, a vinegar smell or like a wine smell or something. Yeah, and uh, it's not pleasant at all. Anyways, I'm going to wash this off, you know, and uh, when we are left with the beans, I'm going to fry it until it becomes golden brown or like um, dry. You all know what I'm saying? Because um, the cocoa powder has to be dry when you are done grinding. So uh, to get that texture, you have to fry this until it becomes dry. As for the cocoa beans, if you have the time, you can actually dry it using the sun until it becomes like really, really dry. But as for me, it's not really sunny where I live right now. So that's why I'm going to fry it because even after sun drying the beans, you still have to fry it. So it's the same process. But the only difference is that now it's going to take longer to fry than the ones that were like sun dried, you know. So right now our beans is almost dry, as you all can see, rest in peace to this my pot. <laughs> I hope it will come up easily though, yeah, so it's getting dry and I'm so happy. Um, when you are frying, you have to like stir constantly, you know, so that it doesn't burn. Yeah, I just want it like um, brown and not burnt, yeah, because you don't want your chocolate to be bitter. Even though the beans is naturally bitter, but you don't want it more bitter. <laughs> yeah, so that's exactly what I'm doing. So you guys can see that our beans is almost done. Um, presently, I've been frying this for about 15 minutes. Yeah, you guys can see. Uh, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do with this pot at the end, but you guys can see that it's really burnt. Like, yeah, it's okay. So, our beans is almost done. You have to constantly stir so that it doesn't get burnt. Yeah, even the peelings are almost coming up already. Yeah, it's taking this long because I did not sun dry the beans. 
yeah that's why it is almost ready So you don't have to worry about the skin getting burned because the beans inside is safe yeah so it's not an issue at all i know some people will be like oh my god it's getting burned no it's just the peelings okay because you can actually take it out when you take it out you see that the beans is okay like it didn't get burned at all yeah so i just wanted it to be crispy for easy grinding because i didn't want like any moisture being trapped inside so that's why i went i i had to fry it like for a very very long time yeah but if you had uh, previously dried your beans like in the sun you don't have to fry it up to this um point but i only did this because my beans was fresh from the beginning you all know um, what i'm trying to say yeah i hope you guys understand what i'm trying to say yeah so right here i'm just taking out the skin yeah it's easy it's very easy to take it out it comes out it, it comes off um very easy and that's exactly what i'm doing here and uh, after taking off the skin i'm going to cool it just to get rid of the extra moisture that might be trapped in the beans <music> I'm going to process my powder I hope it gives me the best result I was thinking about the grinding stone but I think this is best yeah so I'm just going to toss in the beans here after cooling it for about 20 minutes it's about time <laughs> to turn the beans into powder so presently this is what my beans is looking like and we we'll just go ahead and put everything in here yeah can you all see this coming together <laughs> oh my god this is amazing
I'm going to add in some sugar because you know Heaven is going to eat it as I earlier said and apart from the sugar I'm going to add in um, nasty milk yeah I'm going to add in nasty milk and that's it and if it's too thick I might add in a little bit of um, coconut oil I have coconut oil right here if it sugar So after adding milk, this is the consistency we are looking at. So definitely the coconut oil is going in. So at this point, our homemade chocolate is done. That's exactly what it's looking like, you guys. Okay, so we are done. Mm. It's actually so good. You know, the coconut oil gives it another, I don't know, beautiful flavor that I cannot explain. But this is so good. I'm so proud of myself. Yeah, so I don't have a chocolate mold. And I'm going to be using this to mold my chocolate. I'm, I'm going to place everything here and I'm going to put everything here and place it in the freezer for like one hour, two hours, and we are going to see the final result. Yeah. So finally, I'm done putting everything in the mold. This is it right here. And uh, I'm going to place it in the freezer. And let's see the magic. It's so good. Mm. It's so good. I'm going to advise you if you want if you want to make this, make sure the sugar you are using is powdered sugar. Don't use the grains because it takes time to actually dissolve. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the final result, and I'm going to place it in the freezer right now. Yeah. Let's see what it turns out to be. So finally, this is our moment of truth. Our chocolate is finally ready, you guys. Can you see all this goodness? It's looking so good and it's so delicious. Anyways, I'll go ahead and take it out of the mold so that we can see exactly what it looks like. It's so delicious, guys. It's so delicious. You know, from testing this, I was like, these chocolate companies are lying to us because they, how can I say this? You know, it's so concentrated. Meaning in a bar of chocolate, I would say they are adding about 10% chocolate in it because this one, this is like 100% chocolate added and it's so concentrated and it's so good. Anyways, let me go ahead and cut this. This is dark chocolate. Can you see this? Yeah. So this is what our chocolate bar is looking like. You guys, can you see how huge? And the thickness as well is so thick and it's huge. I think I'm going to eat this like for a month and it's so good eating in chocolate is so much because I added a lot of uh, sugar in here but you can still get like the bitter taste meaning you guys I don't know how to explain this but the process in general was really amazing and I'm really grateful that I had a very beautiful result as you guys can already tell it's looking so good I'll go ahead and cut it for you all okay <laughs> wow <laughs> This is really amazing. This is, yeah, this is so good. You know, I added a little bit of um, coconut oil in it. I can get like the coconut flavor. And I would say that was my flavoring. That I added like, this is awesome. This is a masterpiece and I'm so happy with the results, guys. I'm so happy with the results. It's really, it, it's really, really amazing. Yeah, so, the only mistake I did was I added um, granulated sugar instead of powdered sugar. Yeah, so if you are doing this, try to use the powdered sugar so that you'll be so smooth. Yeah, apart from that, it's amazing. Yeah, so this is what our chocolate looks like and I'm so happy. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe. And until next time, bye!